today I'm going to show you how you can use um, IMBU from Mac OS uh, Catalina update. Um, this is a problem that's been bothering all people, uh, all the IMBU community uh, for such a long time since since last year. Uh, uh, we never came up with the solution or a total solution for for that this this trouble um, that this issue uh, that doesn't let us run the um, 32 bit programs right um, well uh, before we start uh, I would like to I would like you to know that this is a problem that is not the official one so um, this is just for for uh, educational purposes, uh, uh, I highly recommend you to get the official uh, application. Uh, so this is just a copy that might not be able to be for a long time. Uh, but with the the correct um, application, uh, you will be with no other problems to run it correctly right so well uh, first first of all um, you will get to IMB uh, download page right um, we are going to get to the release notes and we'll scroll down until we get this Windows installer application You see the version 538.0. You're going to download this one, and in a moment I'll, I will show you. Or I will explain you what does it, um, what it, what it, it will be done with this file and not the PNG file that it's for macOS Catalina, right? I already. Um, uh, downloaded the file so I'm going to get to finder um, so we now see the exe file right here and once you download the um, crossover uh, application that it's on the bottom of, uh, of this video um, that's where the link is the link is um, you can you can run this application. Let's open this. See, it got now close over. Um, we're going to drag into applications. Um. So well, uh, in the mean in the meantime, um, I'm going to explain that crossover uses uh, exe files, Windows Windows installer um, files, to create um, what what it's called a bottle. Um, this is going to simulate the the Windows uh, a Windows operating system uh, so that simulation will make that we can run uh, Windows applications in, in, in Catalina that runs in uh, 20 um, in 32 bits so uh, this is this is basically what what's what it does so there, there will be um, a call out, uh, a pop up here. So uh, it will let you know that you cannot run it. So first of all, uh, to clear that, you will go to System Preferences. Um, you go into uh, Security and Privacy. 
running some other problems here. And for example, uh, well, the the thing that the pop out it's going to it's going to tell you is that it's not allowed to to run. So you will have to uh, click on the lock, uh, type your password, and and there we and there will be um, apply. Uh, so you can you, so you can run it. So now we are going to run crossover. Okay. I'm just going to verify. Okay. We have we have here that it cannot be opened, right? Um, so we'll press OK. We're going to security and privacy. Um, I'm going to hit the lock. Type our, um, our password and open anyway. This is just a security measure. There's nothing to worry about. Um, so once we have that done, I'm going to the crossover and I'll start this install Windows application. So we are going to hit there. It's pretty simple, it's quick. All right, uh, now that we are in this window, um, it, you see there is for best results, please allow crossover to update its installation. And uh, for instance, I don't, um, don't press on any of those unless you are sure that you are going to get the official uh, paid support. So we are going to um, set, this is a mainly um, uh, structural uh, thing that we, we, can, we can choose the, the type of, of application that we are going to use. So we don't actually need to click on anything of this, but on listed application, we'll choose an installer foil. And here we got our downloads install imbu 538 use the installer and to continue and install so we will create this desktop file and the paste and we click install You'll see once it's um, already installed, um, or the process it, it, it will start. Um, it will make the same um, the same pop-up uh, message that will uh, have to uh, go back again to system preferences and allow. Uh, ID to be installed in this in this uh, computer. So um, we are going to wait two minutes. Here, macOS cannot verify the developer. Uh, so it says not to trash, open, cancel. 
we are not going to move to trash because we want to be installed right so we are going to cancel this and it will pop out this install right allow it anyway As we already put our um, our password and and let the, the other uh, creation file for close over uh, it doesn't need to be um, allowed again so now we have the installation set up hit install we don't need to uh, actually select the file where we want to the um, I mean the page where we want to be um, installed because it's already located in the crossover uh, file and so it's perfectly automatic and you don't have to worry about it and uh, we can see here uh, when it's already preloading the IV program um, it will stroke just the normal startup uh, that it used to have right? only that it's um, it's loading it's kind of blocky right uh, from the old um, uh, old windows versions Okay, installing so this application. It seems like it's it, it's process is not um, is not uh, finishing, right? So we don't don't worry about it. We are going to first run the ID um, program, and after that we can be sure that it's going to be uh, working just fine. Uh, after that, we can uh, cancel the the installation. We are not going to run on the startup. Set the password. Okay, log again. version <laughs> and not the uh, des desktop version that um, IMD made us use to all the Catalina users um, as you can see it's uh, taking a little bit longer to, to uh, finish loading but it will be perfectly fine once it's, it's totally loaded okay so now you're perfectly being capable of using the creator program here in Mac OS Catalina ship rooms uh, Walka so there you go, you have a perfectly functional uh, old version of iView on macOS Catalina. Um, I will be totally grateful for you to help me out, uh, spread the word, um, well, uh, subscribe to my channel uh, for 
more content. Uh, I'm currently thinking that I could help you out with uh, new creation, creation with Mesh. Uh, as this is going to be a new uh, channel, I'll hope and I get I can get all the support you I you can give me. So that's it, guys. I really uh, thank you for this. Um, I'm going to to wrap up you're going to cancel this process right uh, refreshing associations refreshing menus you're given a really fine minute right I'm going to get done and here run IMD and we have the bottles we can drag this to the main dock right and we can okay and we can close this okay guys thank you for supporting me I'll see you around and that let me see uh, the comments you have and well guys um, thank you for everything uh, leave comments and if you have any problems let me know I'll search what I can find for to help all the IMVU community see you next time